Few bands have changed the face of music as B Daddy and the Puppet Boys. From their humble beginnings as a garage band to their rise to stardom and multi platinum success. Though their music has been the voice of a generation and has touched millions, it has all come at a price. But they endure today due to their persistent energy and soul searching music. This is Behind the Music. When I'm strange, no one Leopold Tyson, son of Esther and Michael Tyson, grew up in a small suburban town. He always heard the call to entertain, and as a young man, he answered the call, belging for money on street corners. Fate brought Belcho and the rat together. I never heard belching like that before. I knew this cat had done a lot of coke. They enlisted six other aspiring musicians from the neighborhood and together began playing crude show tunes in the garage. They called themselves Leopold and the Back End Boys. The name didn't stick, but the sound did. Through several record executive committee meetings, the new name became Bee Daddy and the Puppet Boys. Bee Daddy began touring on Christmas Day 1984. They were soon known throughout the world for their animated stage presence. They entered the studio with Mo Moose at Antler Studios, a veritable hit factory. They had this sound I'd never heard before, distinctive but grating to the ears like nails on a chalkboard. By the time I was done mixing, it was not quite as awful. Their first CD was called P. Daddy and the Puppet Boys Kicking Out the Tunes featuring five original songs and five remixes of the same songs. It instantly shot to number one. Oh, yeah, so Their second CD, surprisingly a best of compilation, featured nine of the ten songs from the first album. It was like they really found themselves on that second album, knocked the stuffing out of the first one. <laughs> they began their never-ending, non-stop, continuous, infinite tour schedule. Dude, like, the remix of the Blue Danube really rocks over the old Blue Danube. I get their first CD, but their second CD was really dreamy. They're so hot. But soon, the road took its toll. Where's my Tic Tacs? I got your Tic Tacs right here, you talented pal fluff. Shut up, man. Don't listen to him, it's just the booze talking. It wasn't long before the rat's problems started affecting their performance. Mm -hmm. You're gonna control me and it's the booze of the band. I can stop any time. I don't need you guys. But the rat would see harder times before reality came crashing down around him. And when it seemed things couldn't get any worse, the band hit rock bottom. Through a series of almost inconceivable calamities, Burpo was rendered almost totally unable to shoot milk out of his nose. The band reconciled at his hospital bedside. I... I thought we had lost Burpo. When I saw him fall, I could have swore he was going to break every bone in his body. Amazingly, modern medicine brought Burpo back from the brink of death. The band started a reunion tour almost immediately and put out a live album, which was a note-for-note -note copy of their greatest hits album. From their humble beginnings through their rise and fall from grace, their friendship has pulled them through their hardest times. The enduring testament to the band's greatness is their persistent energy and their willingness to write thought-provoking lyrics that inspire thousands of generations. This is Behind the Music. This is the end. This is the end. This is the end. I own the Oh,